Our guest is a London-based Nigerian singer-songwriter and a painter. Born Nisi Ogulu, she is a graduate of mechanical engineering at the University of Warwick. She developed her passion for music at the age of six and has since not looked back. In August 2016, Nisi released her debut single titled Pay Attention, channeling Afrobeat legend Fela and Nicola Popuse. She has now blessed us with a seven-track EP titled Ignite, with an A-list brother, Bonaboy, and a successful talent manager as a mom bosse ugulu let's make welcome nisi hey. Hey. welcome hi hey. thank you guys thank you what are we igniting today hmm. everything that tea maybe oh yeah okay okay <laughs> um okay so forgive me for not starting with ignite but pay attention 2016 what inspired that mm. song? Because it seems like it's also still relevant for now. So what was the inspiration behind that one? Society looking around and seeing the things that were happening in that time, which funny, like you just said, is what is happening now. So it seems like we've just been repeating Stagnant. the same cycle over mm. and over again. I watched your, would I say like your doco video for the album Ignite and I really like that you did yeah. that type of piece just to explain it before people get launched into it. I did the opposite though, I kind of listened to your songs first and then I stumbled into that but either ways it blended really nicely. So I want, you mentioned something, two things, that you said Ignite, if you listen to the lyrics well, which I, I, I did, is a lot about liberation and freedom. Uh, I just wanted to find out why that was so important to you. Are there ways in your life where you feel like you needed to be freed or liberated, or is it just absorbing the environment, the external environment that made you say those words? Yeah, I think it's both things. Um, being being a creative man, a business minded person, an engineer, in everything I've done, mm -hmm. it's not really been very very much. <laughs> It's not really been in industries where women are common. Mm. So it's always, it's always very much a thing where you have to sort of prove yourself or, you know, feel some type of way. And I wanted my message to be one of freedom and, and liberation and one that just talks about the hopes and everybody being hopeful and having the ability to achieve anything and having that mindset. All right, so personally, I would like to know you better because um, obviously I know you want to separate your brand from that of your brothers, right? Um, but it's almost inevitable not to bring up Bonoboy when talking about Nisi, right? So I would like to know, it's probably a gift and a cost. What's the gift of being a Bonoboy's sister? And what's the cost of being a Bonoboy's sister? I would say there's... <laughs> When you're talking about someone who's your brother, I will never put him in the same sentence as a curse. Mm, true. But one of the things that irks me is are the assumptions. Mm. There's always going to be assumptions one way or another, and that's just something I've grown to get used to and understand that at the end of the day, you know what you're doing. You've got your talent. You've got your skill. You, you just have to show people what that is and... They'll take it like it is. The blessing for it is having people in your life that understand how the industry works mm. and can help you down the right path. And especially in one where it's hard to find people you can trust. Okay. Family is key. Mm. So I like that. Or I would like to think that you're really talented because I spent some time listening to your EP and of course the singles you dropped before that and um, as much as you wouldn't want to use the word curse in the same sentence with your brother. Metaphorically speaking. Yeah, yeah. so I would want yeah. to ask watching his own career blossom into what it is right now. I mean it's, it is amazing and has been an amazing journey. What would you say you learned from that that you would be implementing into your own journey as you move right now? Staying true to yourself, I think, is the key thing. And it's a message we've both been taught throughout our growing years. It's, it, it's your authenticity that helps propel you and allows you to be the best version of yourself. So I think that's one major thing I would, I would, I would carry on. Okay. Um, just go, to go back to your music again, I've kind of noticed that each sound is very different. I mean, I think the music video is a lot like the same vibes. Like, you like to play with the colors and... The arts, like you can, I can tell that you're quite artistic, but your sound, I really can't even almost put a finger to it and 
I guess mm -hmm. keep you in like a what genre in a box. Like what genre of music is that? Is that something that's deliberate? Like do you just go into the studio and honestly just let it flow? Or um, is that your thing? Like you actually don't want to be put into an into a certain genre of music? Yeah, I, I actually don't want to be put into a certain genre of music because if you find with many artists, I mean international and sometimes even in Nigeria, there's so many people that can do so many things, but we tend to label them and box them in and then limit their creativity. So it's all well and good for people to identify you with something. And I wanted that thing to be my artistic vision, the way I deliver songs, my voice and not necessarily the genre of the instrumentals that I'm singing on. Speaking oh. of instrumentals, though, do you do music for, like, when I say, like, an academic perspective, because a lot of your clips are seen in the studio, almost like like you, I, I, for better, was a proper musician. Is this something that you have done, like, in terms of schooling and, like, practice? Like, how much have you actually put into this music? Or is it just talent and vibes? Yeah, I mean, I've put a lot in terms of, building myself and learning how to cultivate my craft. But with going to music school, I didn't, I wasn't in music school in my higher levels of education. I think I stopped music school in secondary school mm -hmm. and I just started to build on a professional level. So work on my recording, my emotional portrayal, my performances, you know, playing my instruments, but I didn't, I didn't go to high level school to learn music. Mm -hmm. So you're a painter. Music and a musician right so and um your 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 music is quite colorful and painting takes a lot of creativity as well so are these two intertwined or is there a way you can separate your painting from your music i think they're intertwined because i almost cannot do one without the other i'm always visualizing where the song is going it, it inspires me to finish a record when i can see it and see where it's going. And when I'm doing art or any form of creative work, music always has to be with me so that I can push through. Mm. So yeah, they, they go hand in hand. Does that mean you work closely with the directors for your music videos? Because they're really colorful as well. Yeah. Yes, yes. And they're, they're selected carefully mm. as well. Okay, so what, are we going There's, to see you in the Nigerian scene anytime soon performing? Like, what's the plan? Tell us. Oh yeah, most definitely. It's, it's because of the coronavirus that I'm stuck here, to be honest. Now that I've been, I've been back home with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, but as soon, as soon as I'm able, I'll, I'll be back doing these rounds myself as much as I can in person and doing as many shows as possible. Awesome. Okay, so I think it's time for you to do a verse or a chorus. Anyone special request, the... Judy? Please, <laughs> Judy. That's a jam right there. Yeah. So do you want to do Judy? Are you guys gonna sing with me? Yeah. Uh, um, give us the vibe. We'll, we'll, our we'll voices. Let's it. not. Let's not do that. Let's, let's not, not embarrass ourselves on yeah. on TV. Mm. Just just help us out here. Try and understand. So. When the lumber had tied her waist, mm. Judy said, Our hands start to root it. I've been spending all night and day just trying to make a way, and I need a break. And everybody sings, Say, I don't mind if you're with someone all by yourself. Oh, all by yourself. It's the time, oh, time for you to shoot. Pep and rest. Your pep and rest. Let me see how you do deal. Yeah. All right. Quick one. Okay, <laughs> I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't actually Judy. I was expecting them yeah, to be the ones. What happened to, you? What happened to your ED that cannot do? Uh, no, no. Come on now. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Nisi, <laughs> for being part of Tea Time. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank you. Hope to see you in person. You guys, sure, sure. And please stream sure. the Ignite EP, mm. I guess. Are you telling me? I'm her? doing your job for you now. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Okay, um, yes. that's how we end this episode of Sea Time. Thank you for watching and do definitely stream her EP, Ignite, on all social platforms. Um, you can also send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter at WhatsApp Plus TV Africa. Catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you will go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shunkeye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Stay Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.